happy halloween um i realized i just started like vlogging today and i didn't um really have any context because i didn't know it would be a vloggable day so um today we had remote learning i'll post a video about the water situation soon it's long considering this problem has been going on for over a week where we have water then we don't and then we have water so right now we've been in remote learning because of the lack of water um so today was the first day of remote learning this week because it's monday it's halloween and we had a halloween carnival at school so that was super fun we had like 80 80 to 90 people there for this halloween carnival that i was so busy with that i was like oh i should take videos I didn't because I was so busy. I was running a booth and so that was super fun. After that, the village had a carnival and I was like, oh, I want to go. So I texted another teacher. I was like, will you go? And she said, yes, cause she's awesome. And so we went and as I walked in the door, um, I might explain this later, I don't remember. And I just don't go back and look. As I walked in the door, my classroom aide was like, hey, do you want to judge the costume contest? I was like, yes, I would love to. I was so honored. Um, so I judged the costume contest. So here are clips from the costume contest, a little trick-or-treating, a fiddle, and the rest of my night. So this is a little glimpse of Halloween up in Alaska. This is like their tribal office, so like their city hall, and that's where everyone gathered for the day. So they had all the costumes parade around so we could jump them. That's what they're doing here. It's me popping in again. Um, they had different categories. So it's like zero to two, two to, I don't know, six, six to nine, nine to 12, 12 to 16, 16. Or 12, I don't know. Bunch of different categories. So, like, these next clips are, like, the different categories. And in each category, we picked a top three. And the top three people got prize, cash prizes. And then everyone else got little, like, trinkets, Halloween trinkets. So, everyone got a prize, but we voted on the top three in each category. <laughs> I was just, that was me judging at the Halloween carnival. Um, I don't know, I didn't know how they do trick or treat in here, so I didn't bring my candy with, so that they would come to my house. But no, they just do it right there. So I'm running home quick. It was super fun to judge. So what happened was, uh, that's a weird play. What happened was I showed up, cause I was like, I wanna see the costume contest. So I just showed up 
And then <laughs> they're like, hey, can you judge? I was like, yeah, sure, I can do that. So then I became a judge quick. So that was me judging the costumes, which is super cool. Um, it was a fun way to get involved in the community, fun to see everyone all dressed up. I'm nuts for not wearing my coat. <laughs> I'm not wearing my boots. Um, it's like, what is it? 18 degrees out right now. So I'm just quickly running home, grabbing my candy, and then running back up to school. And I hope I have enough. <laughs> but I started eating it, so I'm a little nervous I won't have enough candy. We'll see. Okay, so I handed out some candy today. We had a Halloween carnival at school. So I handed some out there. <laughs> so I only have two bags left. Sorry, Mom. So we'll see how far this gets me. I think if they give each kid one, I don't know. We'll see. Maybe I'll just jump in with someone and just donate my candy to them. Also, how they do trick-or-treating here, before I go into that, is they just do it right in the tribal office where this carnival was. So everyone sits in like a U, and then they go person to person and hand out candy. And there was so much candy. Um, so here are some clips of that. <laughs> There you go. Look at all yours. Hi, Joe. Thanks. Okay, so there's a dance right now, but I need to run to another teacher's house. I'm gonna go trick or treating. So much candy, and I ran out of candy. I think I bought that, but I got so much candy because they kept giving it to me. And they're like saying thanks for like, being here and stuff like that. And so I trick or treated around, and they they loaded me up, which I was all pumped to get rid of my candy, so I wouldn't eat it at my house. But now I have so much. <laughs> um, so. That'll be fun. It'll be fun to share around. Um, I told another teacher I'll go trick or treat at his house quick. So that's where I'm going to go trick or treat. I've never really like shown this. So up here is teacher housing um, up this bridge. So teacher housing is right here. The old school is right there. So it used to be such a short commute compared to the like seven ish minute one now. But that's my house, old school. So I'm gonna go trick or treat. Okay, just finished trick or treating there. I kind of want to go to another teacher's house and see if they would answer the door if I went trick or treating. Oh, all the no, I'm gonna do it. I'll go knock on their door and see, um, see if they're up. I guess we're in a winter weather advisory for tomorrow, so I'm gonna break up my goggles and everything like that. Trick or treat. There's like 8.45. I'm gonna go back to the dance because it's remote learning tomorrow. So I don't really need to be there until 8. I'm gonna go back to the dance a little bit. Okay, I'm calling it a night now. It's 9 o'clock. I told the kids I'd stay until mine, and then I was leaving, so it's nine, I'm going home, shower, because we have water right now, and then um, going to bed, ASAP, because I am pooped, so that was Halloween in Alaska, a lot more eventful than I thought it would be, and a lot more fun than I thought. And I have a whole, a whole, yeah, like I said, I have a whole video of the water situation coming up soon, hopefully I edit it this week. And then I'll get it posted hopefully this week. Um, spoiler alert, it's a mess. But um, uh, good night.